well, at least now we're relaxing at the table with Dr. Uh, Natalie because I, I think we need to talk to her after that. That was fun. It was that a was lot of really fun. fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And this is going to be a lot of fun, too. I've been learning so much about chiropractic I didn't know. And the, the, the wealth of things that it can actually improve in your body. Everybody goes for back pain. No, 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 no. Once you have pain, it's too late. Right, <laughs> Dr. Natalie? Wow, Did you, you I listen, wow, eh? What a great student. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. nice. Well, listen, let's recap just quickly what we spoke about last time. Because last time you explained to us about the scans that you can have done that will tell you what uh, mm -hmm. what's going wrong in your spine exactly. and um, and what we can do with that. By the way, if you want to see that, it's posted on our website. Okay, yeah. so just go to videos and health and wellness, and you can see it. And this time, I think we're going to talk about the heart rate test. test. Yes. So okay. last time we did talk about the nervous system and if they want to show the, the TV, it's, it's yeah. not about how we feel necessarily because 90% of the nervous system doesn't send us the signals that something's wrong. So that's right. the whole concept behind behind this. Uh, we have five technology and we talked about the, the last the last four but the mm -hmm. fifth one is called the heart rate variability and what it does and, and TL went to the clinic to to, to do it mm -hmm. and it measures a relationship between uh, your heart and your nervous system by okay. measuring the variability of your heart so she had to sit put for five minutes oh, which was hard right it w no it was way harder <laughs> than you think yeah. you know because I can imagine yeah. because every you really have to try and calm your mind yeah. and calm your breath yeah. and calm your which none of us do we well, don't do that exactly. No. We don't so do five it. minutes is is long. And every little change affects it shows on your oh, thing. Yeah. So you really <laughs> have. To Were you getting in trouble a few times? I was, yeah, because you know me, my mind goes all. Well, the time. it's hard to, but yeah. the concept with this, the, the the principle behind this is that it's measuring the tone of your autonomic nervous system and the balance between what we call the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic. Sounds like big words, but sympathetic nervous system is your fight or flight. Your a bear's running after you. You don't need to digest your food. You need your heart, your legs. You need the blood flow to to get to your legs to to get you going. Mm -hmm. right. The parasympathetic system is more digestion and just to rebalance your body. So if you don't have a good balance between the two, you're out, you're out of, of balance basically. And a lot of us are also more uh, in the sympathetic system because it's go, go, go all the time. Right. right. And there's so long your body can compensate with that. So this tool is amazing because low score have shown to be connected with hypertension, diabetes, uh, even emotional uh, stresses. So I'd like to show uh, TL score if that's yeah, okay yeah. with right. you guys. So here, I'll hold that up Considering my crazy mind, I did all right actually. <laughs> yeah. 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 How does this technology actually measure what you just discussed? It, what, is she hooked it, up to it, it the is, machine? It is. She's uh, hooked to the uh, wave uh, profiler okay. and it measures her heart rate. In, in, uh, you just put the, your hand in it. It's a little like you just put your finger okay. in. So yeah. you're just sitting there. So if, if I may point out here, the red is obviously not good. Then we've got orange and the yellow. And the goal is to have your little square in the green. So TL is not too, too far. I so was close. She's, a, close she's adapting. Can you see my little blip? It was so close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what it means is that even though she's a busy lady doing a lot of things, she's still adapting uh, to stress because stress is not necessarily bad. It's how we adapt to it, right? right. Mm -hmm. And I mean, somebody may, may jump in, in your shoes for one day and say, oh my goodness, how, how is she doing it? Mm -hmm. But you seem to be coping with it, you know, better because of, of I was the visualizing being on the beach. <laughs> well, there you go. It helps. That, that certainly helps. For <laughs> yes. sure. So what's this one up here telling us? This one is also the, the variability. So like she was saying, if she turned her head or if she was mm -hmm. breathing more heavily, it, and it's looking at, at basically the average of all this and how okay. adapta uh, the adaptation. Well, so congratulations. It's Thank yeah. you. I'm really happy for Thank you. Thank you. It was, it was really, it was tougher than it sounds. You know, it, yeah. it really, to just sit there and really try and calm your thoughts and and I think we're hearing a lot about that about really starting to like try and 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 relax yourself Meditate it's really hard to do bit, yeah. yeah and yeah. that's why you know if we talk about the stress on, on the nervous system well f I don't know if you want to show my, my graph here but yeah. we live our lives through our nervous system and I like the analogy of all those wires and you'll see why I'm, I'm pointing to that um, later and also that all the nerves are connected to organs and that affects right. the function and then our goal as chiropractor is that we detect in your spine, and I love this picture here, and I give this analogy every week to my patient, is that a subluxation is your body tripping because you stressed it beyond its capacity to adapt.
right. and we're all different, right? Mm -hmm. And the stress can be physical, psychological, or nutritional. So that's what it, it, it a subluxation is. And again, what makes you trip? Sorry, that's like when you have shift in your spine. Okay, so okay? when you're out of alignment, exactly. like we talked about before, yeah. which you can see in yeah. your scan. Exactly. Okay. Now, a lot of people will say, and I get that all the time, say, Nelly, I don't know what I did. I didn't do anything. I swear, but my kids are driving me nuts. I'm going through a divorce, and I'm losing my house. Right. Do you think that <laughs> yeah. might affect you? I'm exaggerating, obviously, right. but yes, people course. think they need a big physical event, that they went snowboarding or they shoveled or they did something. Yeah. So all these things, and it's hard for people to, to connect that, even eating. If you go to McDonald's, have a Big Mac and a large fry and a, and a Diet Coke, because we need diet, right? Right. <laughs> you eat all this, <laughs> of course, you might as well. Items, yes. What kind of stress is that pu putting on our organs? It's stressing the organs signal to the brain, brain back to the organ. So that can too make your panel trip.